What's up guys, it's your boy Senpai Sky, and in this video we're going to show you how to perform Queen Charge Dragon Riders at Town Hall 14. So let's get into it. Alright guys, here's the first attack that we're breaking down right here. So you guys need to remember, if you guys are performing this attack strategy, make sure you guys bring some headhunters because Dragon Riders do not focus on heroes or on CC troops. They just ignore them and the CC troops and the Queen or the RC can take them out easily. So starting off with a Coco Loon is very important as well because you don't know where uh, a beta area could be set up at so you want your heroes to last your hero your queen and your healers to last as long as possible here as you can see king set up on the other side beautiful funnel was set and now the king is going to be able to get into this compartment and take out the motor inferno and the air defense which is big value right there the queen is going to be able to take out the scatter shot and guys use your spells properly I can't stress that enough because I've seen so many people go down um, because they waited too long on dropping their their rage or they just didn't drop it and the queen enemy queen took out their queen or the RC took out their queen and that's just the epic fail right there. So now the CC troops were pulled, which is nice that they were pulled because now the queen could take care of the CC troops as well. And the rage was dropped and now the poison will be dropped here as well for the lava pups and once she takes out the town hall he could come out with the dragon riders and the queen will be taking out the town hall right here boom town hall goes down dragon riders are out and now you don't really need to focus and worry about the outside buildings because the dragon riders won't focus on those because they only go for defensive buildings so the RC took out the, um, the Teslas up top at 12 o'clock and making her way into the base. The Grand Warden's ability was already popped. Down, uh, drops a free spell right onto the Eagle so the Eagle doesn't get off any more shots. And this base right here is looking wrecked. RC ability goes off and now freezes up the other compartment for the uh, Dragon Riders to take that out. Free, another free spell was dropped just a little late because um, he was trying to use it on the air defense and that and that single inferno, but it was already taken care of. And this base is done, it's gone, and this is how you perform a queen charge dragon rider attack strategy here. Queen is still up, warden still up, a, a gang of minions for cleanup the drag took out the uh the rc which is very smart that he used a uh stone slammer because you do not need the blimp when you're doing a queen charge because the queen can easily get the town hall if you do it correctly so let's get into the next attack all right guys so here's that next attack for you guys and there goes that queen starting off at about seven o'clock there Wizard with a few loons on the other side to help create this funnel so the queen does not just walk around the base. We want that queen to be forced inside this base so she can get that town hall. Drops a cocoa loon, which is very important. I can't stress it enough how much you guys need to drop those cocoa loons. And now the healers come out. And you're not going to need a... Um, if he's going to use a headhunter here, he's not going to need a rage. So there it goes, Headhunter came out, doesn't need a rage, but it's gonna have to rage up right here because the queen is getting low and she's gonna be hitting this town hall right here. It's gonna have to freeze this uh, town hall because they're, it's gonna milk these healers. Freezes the town hall, healers took quite a bit of damage right there. Should have freezed like a little bit earlier, but still got the job done. And Invis, Invis the queen with the healers to take out the enemy queen smart right there big IQ right there now here comes the um The the CC troops Ooh, forces queen's ability should have used another rage there To make sure that queen got healed up, but popped the ability she still got healed up 
down goes those uh the super minions and the king on the other side doing some serious work here now since the funnel is set up as you guys can see it's just a straight shot down these dragon riders can just come out and just destroy everything here and this is what i mean about setting up your funnel and doing a great job with the queen walk um because as you guys can see here did such a beautiful job that there's pretty much nothing left on this base but a straight shot down uh you got one multi inferno down there one scatter shot and it's and it's pretty much an easy uh easy easy three right here at this point using another stone slammer because you really don't need the blimp when the queen is taking out the town hall but when the queen is not taking out the town hall then i think you should be using that blimp now minions came out for the cleanup doesn't even need to pop the slammer because you got quite a bit of time on here still left slammer's gonna take out that and now as you guys can see another triple right here queen still up warden still up again couple of dragon riders still up had a headhunter in that back pocket minion still up on the um, still up for the cleanup and this is another triple guys this is how you want to perform that dragon rider uh, queen charge dragon rider attack guys and we're going to be jumping into this last attack guys so let's get into it all right guys here's the last attack now this is what i mean about if you're gonna be queen charging somewhere else, then you want to come in and use the blimp to take care of that town hall. And this is what he this is what MFFL does and gets down that town hall. Beautiful job of that. And now coming in with the queen charge, because the queen charge is not going in the compartment where the town hall is at. It's going completely somewhere else because he wants to get so much more value out of this queen charge so the queen is stepping up up there she's gonna keep going up and she has a sneaky he has a sneaky gob comes in here takes out that collector so that the queen does not go outside he wants to keep this queen inside of this uh inside of this base and take out as much of this base as possible and setting up this funnel right here has a super wall breaker comes in Pops open that uh, compartment right there. And now it's going to have to use a free spell or something here. There it goes. Free spell. Uh, uh, invis spell right there. Taking out a lot of that stuff right there. Nice job right there. Keeping that queen up there. Because that single inferno would just destroy the queen. And now the queen does not get the single inferno. Which is kind of insane. Because I know he... He or she probably wanted that single inferno with that queen to go down there and getting that other sweeper But she goes up and gets the motai and gets a couple of other things kings come out King comes out to create the other side of this funnel right here And now the RC has been deployed and now the dragon riders are deployed as well uh, Eagles is already uh, going off Pops the Grand Warden ability, which is a beautiful job. Doesn't want um, the King and all these other troops to take that much damage here. Rages up those Dragon Riders again with the Grand Warden. RC is going to go down here pretty soon. But freezes up. Freezes up the uh, single Inferno. Can he pop the RC's ability? RC is going to get the single with the Queen. She gets the single, but the RC goes down to the enemy Queen. Uh, queen v queen mffl queen wins with the help of the rc tanking a little bit and now the dragon riders have destroyed the rest of this base here just annihilated this base this is why dragon riders are so strong especially with queen charge and it's actually one of the best attack strategies to use right now at town hall 14 and that is the reason why because it, it just wrecks a lot of bases if you know how to perform and master this attack and as you guys can see here another triple coming in beautiful job executing that attack strategy and with that being said guys if you guys got any tips or if you guys enjoyed the video and you guys you know want to try this attack strategy out then make sure you guys smash that like button subscribe to the channel and you hit that notification bell to be part of that notification game also want to give a shout out to our new family clan 
Two Thunder, uh, Two Thunder Republic, Dirty Waters. They are a beautiful clan. If you guys are looking for a clan as well, and you guys are great attackers, then let me know in the comment section. Um, I will talk with a couple of our uh, codes, and I will try to get you guys in if you guys are looking for a new clan, uh, because we are recruiting as well. Also, guys, um, just to let you guys know, I am playing another game, so I will be dropping uh, videos from that game, which is Rise of Kingdom, and from Clash of Clans still, because I love playing Clash of Clans. So look out for that as well. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.